It's very important to me that we do whatever we can to keep sports safe. One thing we can do to keep sports safe is to make sure that we diagnose and manage concussions properly. Now the stepwise return to play is, is one that starts with an athlete being symptom free. So they, they feel fine, they're 100%. Um, and you know, people think it takes days, but there are times when it will take days, it may take weeks, it may even take months. Um, the first step is really to have them exercise and have them, you know, whether it be 15, 20 minutes on a bike, um, low level activity, break a sweat, get your heart rate up, uh, and try to see, you know, if that brings on symptoms or, or not. Um, the next step is to then sort of step that up a little bit and increase the amount that they're, you know, running around um, and push it a little bit more, go a little bit longer, um, and again, see how they respond. Uh, then after that, you can start adding sort of sports-specific skills, and, and that's always great for the athlete because if they're a soccer player, they're out on the field, they're dribbling a ball, uh, maybe passing, the coach sees them, their teammates see them, uh, but they're kind of getting back into their activity and, and continuing to do the cardiovascular activities, uh, maybe doing a little more exertion like push-ups or something of that nature. Um, and then finally getting them back into their sport, and you, you know, they're in practice, uh, there may be some contact collision, but it's not, you know, it's not full game play or full game pace. Um, and again, it's a, it's a challenge for the athlete to sort of know that they are ready to get back in there, and it's also a, you know, for their, for their peers and for their coach to sort of see that they are ready. And then finally you let them back in.